everyone, I'm Urban Girl and welcome to my channel. Thanks for clicking on this video if you're new here. I'm back in the local woods and I've come up in my bike to set up a different kind of shelter. Um, I'm hoping it keeps the rain off. It wasn't forecast to rain today but it is slightly spitting so yeah, definitely need a shelter. Anyway, let's get cracking guys. So, right, first of all, uh, I'm sorry if the camera angles all, all go a bit wonky today. Um, that's because on the bike ride up here, I took a bit of a narrow turn with the bicycle trailer. It flopped over. It was fine, I picked it back up, but it looks like um, a bit of my tripod has broken off. So I couldn't um, attach my phone and I've had to jerry-rig it up with some cable ties and stuff like that. So anyway, let's get the shelter cracking, guys. This is probably going to take me a while to set up, so I won't necessarily bore you with all the details. Um, I did try and set it up yesterday in the house uh, just to make sure that it worked and I knew what I was doing, but <laughs> it wasn't easy and I needed a lot of room for the tent poles. So, um, I'm going to put the DD Magic Carpet down just for a bit of ground cover. Um, this is the XL DD Magic Carpet, so it is really, really quite big. So I'm probably, I'll just half that, double it up and lie it down. Um, and that'll be the floor um, of the shelter because it doesn't have a floor on it. So I'll do that and um, um, get it cracking. Big pokey sticks. So get rid of the big pokies first of all. I'm half wishing that I brought a tarp now because I kind of feel like it would be really good to have a tarp straight out the back because the, the tarp's easy to set up obviously. And then at least I know I would have somewhere that I could just nip under to stay dry. But that said, the sun's actually shining at the moment, so bring it on. Right. You can go there, my friend. Um, and let's get this shelter up. As I said, it might take a while, so I won't bore you with all the details. Um, and I'll maybe do a time lapse so you can see it setting up. Right, here we go guys. Wish me luck! <laughs> guys the poles didn't go as half as bad as I thought they would um, and that's uh, heated me up um, so I'm going to get the pegs out and do all the pegging and you've got to peg it in um, to give it more stability and then I'll explain a bit about it so let me get it pegged in and uh, then I'll bring you back guys brought the old heavy duties with me It says it comes with nine steel tent pegs, but I bought this second hand, so it didn't come with any. But like most people, I've got hundreds of these in the house. So yeah, I'm just going to work my way around and peg it in where I'm supposed to peg it in. And also fix all the guys and um, pull out all the guy lines and stuff. So I think that's the main aim and purpose of what we need to do just now.
anybody anybody that's got tents or does a lot of camping might already know what this is I'm just um, stretching out the, the green skirt that's on it, snow skirt, whatever you want to call it. So I've got that stretched out, um, and now it's the guy lines. Now, strangely enough, I'm looking at this. Oh no, right, it's there. So yeah. Yeah, two two at this bit at the front and there's two at the back. These were still attached to it, so that's good. So yeah, there was nothing missing really apart from the steel tent pegs, which is fine. You can't complain about that. Now this does look like it's actually one one guy line attached to it okay phew wow man right that took way longer than was absolutely necessary because um as I mentioned, I think I mentioned earlier, one of the guy lines was tied up in a really, really tight knot. I don't know why. The other, the rest were fine. That one wasn't. So, um, yeah, I can see there's a slightly wonky section at the top. And that's because um, one of the tent poles is bent in the wrong place. So um, I don't think that's necessarily a big problem. Um, is it affecting the shelter? Yeah, it's making it slightly wonky on one side. But saying that, I don't think overall it affects it. Um, and I also think it would be really easy just to buy um, a small section of, of the bit that's actually bent. Um, so, yeah, but as I said, I really don't think it's affecting it. So let's open the door and put our stuff in, guys. Um, We'll get all that set up um, and then I'll explain a wee bit about the tent and why I bought it. So, yeah, let's open the door. Right, okay. 
don't buy tents on eBay. No, honestly. I'm not, right, yeah, I don't know how much I caught on camera there, but yeah, that tent pole has snapped. Um, and that's obviously affecting the fact that it won't stay together. Um, now, I'm not, as I said, I'm not complaining about that. I bought this tent secondhand on eBay for £10. Um, so, you know, I'm not, I wasn't expecting it to be perfect. I know that, I also knew that it was a really old make. They don't make this tent anymore, so you know that it's really old um, to begin with. It is in otherwise extremely good condition, and I do think that I can get that pole fixed um, by buying um, a small replacement um, tent stick, tent pole section, um, and just making a quick repair on it. I'm not sure if I'll be able to repair it today. I'm not, of course, I've come out and I'm not getting any tape with me. Um, I do have you know rope and stuff like that but I don't think that'll work so anyway yeah so that's making it obviously slightly flop over to one side which is a shame um but however it is still standing um and creating a shelter but I'll have a wee quick investigation and see if there's anything I can do but I'm not sure at this point if there is what I might try if possible is actually swapping out the broken section for a section at the very bottom of the tent um, and that could maybe work so yeah that might work right I'll have a look at it guys if I get it fixed I'll bring you back but either way I'll bring you back well <laughs> here I am guys I'm in the wonky shelter um, I had a look at it and yeah, I, there, there are some sections of the poles that are slightly shorter and some that are slightly longer. Um, and also, all the faffing about that it's going to take me to try and swap out a pole at this point, um, it's just not worth it because it's just going to take too long to do all that and then I won't have a lot of time in, in the woods just sitting here and having lunch and stuff. So I'm going to hope that it kind of, even though it's all wonky, <laughs> I'm going to hope, I'm going to cross my fingers that it stays standing, more or less, um, for the time that I'm sitting here and enough time to have a bit of lunch. Um, I was going to have a fire today and um, do some stuff, but I'm not going to do that now because, yeah, I don't want to start out doing that when I've not got um, a decent shelter set up um, because it does feel like it will rain some more or may rain heavily. Um, so yeah, I don't want to be stuck out here without um, kinda, you know, a half decent waterproof base. I can see there's a hole at the top which, you know, would need a wee repair. But again, I did not buy this, um, you know, with great expectations. I also didn't buy it, um, you know, expecting that it wouldn't have some sort of problem or issue. You know, it's second hand, it cost me £10, so all in, I'm pretty pleased with it and it won't cost a lot to replace that um, broken tent pole, um, which is to be expected, you know, that kind of fiberglass plastic thing. Um, when it ages, um, yeah, it gets fragile and brittle. So um, I, I could have expected that, you know, it was going to break. Or maybe I broke it putting it up, I don't know. But anyway, I'll fix that. I'm not worried about the wee hole up the top. I can stick a bit of tape on that. But anyway, <laughs> with all of that said, I am really, really pleased with this shelter. Um. Why did I buy a toilet tent? <laughs> well, number one, it was cheap. Number two, it's not that bad a footprint to sit in um, for a wee day shelter. It's 130 square at the bottom, um, but also it's 210 tall, so you can stand up in it. Um, that idea really, really appeals to me. I like I love that fact. I just love that you could stand up in this. Um, 
yes I'm very small so it doesn't really need to be a very tall shelter but because the kind of stuff that I do is coming out during the day making lunch pottering about you know that kind of thing that um getting in and out of shelter a lot is um, something that I'm doing all the time and so I like that you can stand up you can walk in and out um so yeah all in I'm pretty pleased with it guys it's got vents it's got it's got two vents um and it's got two wee pockets which look pretty handy for putting stuff in um and yeah it's got a fairly good footprint and to be honest I could probably lie down fairly easily in this um you know yeah I would be a bit squashed but you know obviously you wouldn't want to sleep in it but if you were desperate and had to sleep in it you'd be all right it wouldn't be good in high winds probably because of the height but anyway yeah overall I love it guys right let's see what the time is 10 past 2 so I'm going to get some lunch on so let's get lunch on guys Nothing too fancy to do guys, chicken soup. Um, the reason being I wanted the tin to do my other stuff but hey ho, I'll do that another day. some chicken bits to go in it. Why not? Right, there we go guys, soup's ready, bon appetit. Just plain cream of chicken, lovely. I'll sit here and enjoy my lunch and I'll bring you back afterwards. Hopefully the shelter will still be standing.
well that was a nice lunch guys um so yeah pretty pleased with the, the tent to be honest apart from that one we draw back um with the so apart from that one we draw back with that pole snapping which may have been my own fault i might have i might have pushed it too much um <clears throat> i've got the gas stove here anyway so i'm actually just going to heat up in a, a kind of coffee hot chocolate thing that i've got with me um since i've got the gas stove anyway so and it is cold today um i don't know what the temperature is but i know it won't be much so uh yeah let's find this coffee where is it i've got two different two, two, two different things with me um <clears throat> yeah okay here you go so i've got a hot chocolate drink which is from some random hotel um and i've got a bourbon um coffee stick so i use these um bourbon essay coffee pods in my machine in my coffee machine it's a type of coffee pod that's just like a paper it's just in paper so it's quite nice um but these are like flavoured sticks that you can get and they've already got milk in, in them as well. So this is the hazelnut one and the hot chocolate. So I'm going to put both of them in a cup and heat it up to keep me warm. Um, and then I guess we should probably think about packing up etc. Um, but yeah, I mean obviously disappointed that that uh, tent pole snapped but... I mean, it's to be expected. So it's not too much of a disaster. I'm sure I can get it fixed and it means I'm really looking forward to bringing it out and standing it up properly and it not flopping over. Because, <laughs> yeah, it's a bit floppy now. But saying that, um, I'm really pleased with it. It's got, a, it's got a really great footprint inside. I mean, it's okay, it's not massive, but... For what I do, you know, it suits me for what I do, and that's what's important, isn't it? Doing what suits you. Right, let's get my water. And find out where did I put. Oops. I've got loads of this instant cutlery stuff. I collect it all the time when I, like if I'm on the train, if I'm on the train when I'm working in Edinburgh, um, I usually buy something for to eat on the train, so I collect the cutlery all the time from Marks and Spencers, <laughs> and uh, it comes in handy, it comes in handy for situations like these. Anyway, I hope everybody's well, thanks for tuning into my channel. If you are still watching, I mean, I know a lot of you don't even keep watching that long. That's fine too, but if you are, please do give me a like. I've found out now that apparently it's not just views. You also need lots of likes um, or the YouTube algorithm won't promote your channel. I'm trying not to do the algorithm and I'm trying now to do different stuff. So if you've not checked out my website, I'll try and leave a link in the description. Please go to my website. Thanks for everybody that got in touch and um, it's been really nice chatting through emails and stuff um, and finding out, you know, what kind of stuff interests you guys as well. So please do have a look at my website, sign up to my newsletter and give this video a like, guys. Look at that, guys. That looks lovely. I'm going to try and pour some of it into the cup. I've not really got the pouring bowl, so not a great idea. I know I can drink out of that, but obviously that's hot. Really hot. Mmm. Oh, wow. That is really yummy. Chocolatey and yummy. Now I wish I had a biscuit. 
Mm. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Mm. Oh well. Cheers, guys. Oh man, that is so good. Mm, I think it's the hot chocolate that makes it. <laughs> They're really good, those kinds of, like, you know, sachet type ones, because they've already got milk in them. So it saves you having to bring milk. You know, they've, most of them have contained powdered milk. And yeah, it's all really gloopy when it's cold. That That's because of the 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 fat, you know, that's in the, the dried milk. But once you heat it up, all of that goes away. So, yeah, I definitely can recommend that hot chocolate. Um, if you were wondering what I was talking about with the coffee machine and I said it, uh, it uses SE pods, it's ESE, so it's um, a kind of European um, quick pod dispenser type. It's not a dispenser, as I said, it's like a paper sachet. They're popular, you can buy tons of them on Amazon for your machine. Um, and I just find it really, really easy and the coffee's really nice. Um, the machine I've got at the moment is a DeLonghi machine, which also will make regular coffee from ground coffee. Um, you know, like a wee kind of Nespresso cappuccino type machine. But I just find the SC pods really easy and the coffee's really nice. I find the coffee much nicer than the Nespresso. I had a Nespresso machine for years. Um, and yeah, I find the Essie coffee much nicer. Oh, that is so good. It's really nice to have a hot drink when you're out, especially when it is cold, because it really fair heats you up. <laughs> especially when you're sitting about. I can't, I, I really can't begin to say how delighted I am with that tent, even though it broke. Um, just before it broke <laughs> I think I might have a picture of just before it broke uh, it looked great absolutely great I just love it, big door big space on the inside I've got my chair in there, my table, everything that I need and you can just walk in and out it really easily I'm glad I made that. I wasn't going to make it because of the shelter, but I'm glad I did. Now I've got a pile of dirty dishes. And no water nearby. <laughs> I love this local woods. I really do love it. As you can hear, the parakeets are back. They're making lots of noise. Um, but it's been really nice coming out to the wood studio and just spending time in nature. You really can't beat it. I've got a lot of information on my website about forest bathing and um, how you go about doing that. It would seem counterintuitive that I'm on a video telling you how to go forest bathing, i.e. don't take your phone, don't do videos. Um, so, but yeah, that's not the purpose of the video and that's not, you don't video your forest bathing and all that kind of thing. Um, but it is something that you can do while you're out here in the woods. You can just wander about, potter about for half an hour. You know, enjoy all the smells, everything that you can see, the, the sounds. Um, touching trees and leaves and touching the ground and just, you know, soaking everything in and observing it. And just letting it be part of where you are and um, accepting it for what it is and allowing yourself to be accepted for what you are just to be in that moment in that space um, and that's really 
you know the pur some of the purposes of it but it's also that's the benefits of it um, it it boosts your immune system it it boosts those kind of you know your serotonin and all that the things that make you feel happy and and excuse me boosting those things that make you feel happy and relaxed so there's a lot of information on my website guys if you want to know more about forest bathing more about the practice what it means how you do it um i did an online course during lockdown and it was really really great it didn't take me long i could work through it at my own pace anyway you can sign in and out when you like um there's usually a discount code available so you can get a, a decent discount and do the course for 29 pounds i don't think that's too expensive um and it's a really really informative course to give you an introduction to forest bathing so there's a link on my website for that um and for one of the books but i'm not trying to sell you anything guys i'm just saying if anybody's interested have a look well there we have it guys i'm all packed up and ready to go i judge a shelter by how easy it is to get back in the bag <laughs> and yeah not bad and it's not heavy which is absolutely great i mean push came to shove i could you know easily fit that in my backpack um and and also you know just bike up with a backpack but i've got the bike camper with me um and it's all packed up pretty much and ready to go just need to pop that and pop my chair in thanks again for watching my channel i really appreciate all your views don't forget to give me a thumbs up and a like guys let me know in the comments what you think about my bizarre shelter ideas and uh, thanks again for watching i'm just an urban girl out having a bit of fun bye Thank you.